Welcome to the Methodology Institute's SPSS video tutorial series, sponsored by the LSE Annual Fund. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the simplest way of visualising and exploring a categorical variable, which in this case is an ordinal variable, by using the frequencies function in SPSS to obtain a frequency table and bar chart. So I've got the SPSS data editor open in variable view, and you can see that I've highlighted the variable we're going to be working with today. The name of the variable is energy, and this variable records people's responses to the statement we need to reduce energy use to avoid environmental disaster in the future. And if we click on the right hand side of the values column for our variable, we can see how this has been coded. And we can see here that it's basically just a four item scale with respondents' answers coded from one to four, depending on whether they answered strongly agree, agree, disagree, or strongly disagree. And we can also see that there was a don't know category um, for which respondents' answers were coded as minus 9. And if we come out of this by clicking cancel, we can also see that minus 9 is then treated as a missing value by SPSS in our data set. And lastly, before we start, we can have a quick look in the data view. So if you just go down to the tab on the bottom left, select data view. And here you can see that I've highlighted our variable energy. And again, you can see here the respondents' answers coded as between 1 and 4. OK, so I'll now show you the steps required to run the analysis on the ordinal variable for our tutorial. We just need to select the Analyze drop-down menu, and then under Descriptive Statistics, click on Frequencies. We then need to find our variable listed in the box on the left-hand side, and if we scroll down, you'll see it's one here. We need to reduce energy use now to prevent an environmental disaster in the future. We select that with the left mouse button, and then click on the arrow button in the middle to move it across into the variables box. And at this stage we can also select any descriptive statistics we might require. We can do that by clicking on the statistics button. And given that we're working with an ordinal variable, I might be interested to know the modal category. So I'll select that option and then click continue. And the second thing I want to generate in the output is a bar chart. So for that we can click on the charts button select the bar charts option and just click continue and that's all we need to do at this stage so I can click OK and SPSS will generate the output OK so let's have a quick look at the output that we get from SPSS having run the frequency function on our variable energy firstly in the box at the top we've got the sample size listed here as N that's 183 respondents and we also had 17 missing values and for this variable, that's likely to be 17 respondents that answered, I don't know. And lastly here, remember that I requested the modal category from the statistics option. Well, that's shown here. And SPSS gives us the number 2, which if we remember back, actually represents the code for agree. So people who answered, yes, I agree to that question, were coded with the value 2. Now secondly, we have our frequency table shown here. And in the table, each of the possible answers for our categorical variable are shown as rows. And the columns then provide us with information such as the frequency or count for responses in each category, the percentage, the valid percentage, which doesn't take into account missing values, which in this case was the 17 people who answered don't know. And lastly, the cumulative percent column, which basically adds the percentage of all the previous categories onto the category shown in each row. So for instance, if we were to take the response category agree, we can see from the number in the frequency column that 97 of our respondents answered that they agreed with the statement. So moving across to the percent column, we can see that our 97 responses equated to 48.5% of our sample, or 53% if we don't take into account the 17 don't know or missing values. And lastly, the cumulative percent represented by the agree category is 76%. And SPSS just arrives at that by adding on the 53% in the valid percent column for agree to the 23% from the previous category, strongly agree. So if we scroll down on the output viewer, we can see at the bottom is the bar chart that we asked SPSS to generate. And this simply provides us with a visual representation of the frequency of responses for each category within our sample data.
And this really shows the extent to which the most frequent responses fell into the agree category. OK, so there you have it, using the frequency function in SPSS to generate the required descriptive statistics, a frequency table, and a bar chart for an ordinal level variable, a useful function whenever you're working with categorical data.